Hey guys, want to play some more Night of the Consumers? I think we can surely beat this game right now. What the hell do you mean beat the game? We are still at night one. Enough chit chat, let's just start the game and get into it already. So that we can progress to the second night. Yeah, let's just hurry up and beat this stupid dumb game. Ah! Oh no. Who the hell is this dude? Was he even here before? What the heck? He's our manager? I don't remember this guy talking to us in our last session. What do you mean, Sleepy Joe? We just played this recently, and you forgot about the intro already? Huh? Uh, what intro? We're talking about this one. It's just the same scene from before. I bet all the ice creams officially replaced every bit of your brain cells. Screw you, you orange clown! No. Shut up and just watch this again, Joe, so you can remember. Joe, go ahead and talk to your brother. Yeah, just a complete retake of this scene. Everyone knows what this is already. No point in reading this. What the hell do you mean everyone knows it already? I don't even remember playing this game last time. Not my problem, Joe. Huh? By the way, I bet this is the goofy Ah Joe Run does when he shits his pants every time he plays a horror game with us. Haha, <laughs> that is too funny to imagine. Here are the manuals to beating this game again. Blah, blah, blah. Restock. Kill the customers and don't get fired is the way to go if you want to win this ugly game. Sounds easy enough to do. And what the hell did you say, Donald? This shit is not ugly. This is one of the most creative and high quality games I have ever played. Oh, you better shut up with those cringe and dumb ideas you have, Sleepy Joe. You can probably say that because you and this game is a complete replica. Both are ugly as fuck. Oh shit, this guy just bumped into us and he's getting straight into asking some customer service. A headache? I got Joe to give it to me. I guess I gotta take him to the medicine aisle and get some of the meds that might help in headaches. Coming from you, old fart. Oh yeah? Why don't you bring me to the food aisle and you get to watch me eat some of your orange brothers. Watch them suffer as I bite into them. Oh yeah? Is that how you want to play it? Why don't I take you to the bathroom aisle and have you take a bath? The last time you had one was probably when it was 1000 BCE. Haha, <laughs> funny, but guys, focus. Run away from the customers and hide in the staff room just like how I did, so we can win this night already. I got a drink box. We just have to. Shit. Why does this ugly looking customers that looks like Joe always keep on bothering me? Excuse me, my ass. Wait, what did you- Ah, get the hell out of my face. They always get us out of nowhere. Holy shit. That scared the living shit out of me. Yeah. Be on the lookout or we'll just keep getting jump scared by them. Working here really sucks. I know, right? Jimmy made the right choice to leave this place. I guess the character we are playing is Joe right now. Dumb and stupid. Cannot even manage to find a good job. What the hell did you just say? I'll have you know that you don't freaking have dementia, so you better get it in your head that I am the president and you are not. Oh, let Joe cook. I didn't know that you had it in you to have such a great comeback from Donald Sleepy Joe. What the hell? How was she still able to stand up? Not this ugly ass baby again. Why don't she tie her up with something? Tisk, so irresponsible. The next time she sees that child, it would be at the recyclable bin. Let's just take this to her already. Ma'am, be careful with your baby or one of the employee named Donald would be willing to recycle it again. If you don't want that, then hold that baby every second of your life. Didn't know you hated babies that much, Donald. No wonder all the kids you had at your campaign cried when they got near to you, ha ha. Shit, another one got us again. I think we need to bring him to the alcohol aisle. He needs a champagne, the most expensive one he said. Here, sir, please do take that champagne and shove it up your mouth. And Sleepy Joe, don't pull out the kid card on me. You're the only one who loves kids here. Uh, um, I think what you mean is that they all love me, and that's a given, because I am the President of the United States. No one cares. Why don't you take your long-lost sister over here to the sweets aisle? I ain't doing none of this shit. Here you go, ma'am. And just stop arguing, you two. Let's just focus in restocking the area. We are doing good for the meantime. We have the whole Mart map out. We can do this, boys. I mean, yeah, because you have me. While a certain someone is eating his own boogers, I am helping us win. We are five out of ten boxes now. Half of what we need to do. Just a few more to go. Excuse you, Donald. I don't eat boogers at all unless they are on top of a vanilla ice cream. So delicious. Holy shit. I'm about to puke right now. No one wanted to know about that shithead. Why are you so fucking gross? Keep that info to yourself. Ah, he scared the hell out of me. 
Looks like he really wants burger. We gotta hurry up and take him to the food aisle. I think it was over here somewhere. Yeah, over here, Barack. Here, kid, sir. I hope you enjoy that burger you so love that I didn't just drop on the floor in this aisle, huh? <laughs> You're scaring me, Donald. Maybe the ice creams I'm eating right now was made by you, and you dropped them too. Shit, you better did not. What if I did, Sleepy Joe, huh? What the hell are you gonna do about it? Since I'm the President of the United States, I would send you to jail with a lifetime sentence to serve for the reason of trying to poison me. I'll just let you know right now, Joe, that you are so worthless that poisoning you would not be even beneficial for me in any way possible. Be quiet, both of you. Now focus. We are currently eight out of ten boxes right now. We just need a few more, and then we have officially beaten this night. Oh yeah, holy shit, we are about to do it. Let's just hurry up and restock already. No way can they beat us now. Shut up, Sleepy Joe. We should take our time and make sure that we know where we need to put them. One is pet food, and the other one is for the pharmacy, Barack. Okay, copy. Just two more to go. Any customers that would be on our way shall be taken care of with this box. Just leave it to me, like this gentleman, and this guy, too. Good work, Sleepy Joe. We are about to get nine out of ten boxes right now. Oh, no, you don't. No one can stop my anti-customer defense mechanism. Everyone be careful. Let's wait around and restock already. I'm on it right now. Just wait. Holy shit, we got it nine out of ten. Oh, my God. This is so intense, guys. Where's the last box? We only need one more. Oh, for God's sake, why can this guy not just fuck off and go and find his damn game by himself? I literally had the last box in my hand. Quickly, Donald, quickly, we don't have much time. I fucking know that, Joe. Would you shut up already? For God's sake, these old bastards are absolutely everywhere. The coast is clear now. Let's just get over to the last box. We are so nearly finished with this. Oh, for fuck's sake, can you piss off already, you fat turd? Damn, these guys are absolutely everywhere. How badly do these guys need help finding the aisles in a tiny ass store? I know right, Barack. These people must be literally blind if they cannot see the very obvious signs that are pointing them exactly where they need to go. Wow, Donald. This game has got you sounding more and more like a service worker every time that we play. Oh, would you shut up about that already? I don't need you distracting me with your bullshit right as we are about to win. Oh my god, it's actually happening. We are going to do it. That took ages, Joe. I cannot believe that we are actually going to win here. And just like that, the Big D Trump was once again crowned as the king of yet another game. It honestly hurts to be this good at gaming sometimes. Wait, so what do we do now? Oh, hey, look, it's the manager. Oh, well, if it isn't my bestest friend hey. ever. How's it going, Big M? Well, I must say that I am quite impressed. Of course you are, Big M. This is me that we are talking about here. Someone so eager, so passionate. You are exactly what I have been looking for. Keep this up, and you will be nominated for Employee of the Month. Only the most determined, hardworking employees are granted such an honor. You know, you remind me of someone else who used to work here. Full of discipline and determination. My, oh my, he was a fine employee. Oh, how it saddened me when he stopped turning up for work. Stop turning up? Was the guy killed or something? The people here are definitely more than a little crazy. Oh, guys, look, he's telling us to come back tomorrow. Good for us guys, we just got our first job. Why in the ever-living fuck would we ever want to go back there, Joe? That place was an absolute hellhole. Oh, wow. Is that you hating your job that I hear, Donald? Because that sounds a hell of a lot to me like what your average service worker would say. I do not care how much you try to make me change my mind on this, Barack. Service workers are dumb, and that is that. Jesus Christ, you are such an ass, Donald. Guys, look at how cool our apartment is. Well, this place has a whole three different rooms. Joe, don't you have the damn White House as your office? Why are you so impressed by a shitty apartment when you work in the most luxurious office on the planet? It is not a shitty apartment, Barack. Look at it. This place is so cool. I would absolutely love to live here. Joe, I have seen homeless people that live in boxes on the side of the street that have cooler cribs than this dump. Oh well. I do not care if you like it or not, Donald. I am proud of my humble abode and there is nothing that you can do to take that away from me. Do you want to bet on that, Joe? You realize that I own multiple demolition companies, right? I could have this whole city block torn to the ground if I really wanted to. Okay, Donald, fine, you win. What are we even doing at the moment anyway? It doesn't seem like there is anything that we can do here. I was starting to wonder that myself, Joe. Does the game just want us to wander around the apartment forever? Can we at least play some video games or something while we are here? 
Talk about a way to reward players for putting in so much work. This has to be the most boring ending to a game that I have ever seen. Let's give it a chance, guys. Maybe something will happen that will make it all worth it. If that is the case, then they are taking their sweet time to show it off. We've already been walking around this damn apartment for nearly a full two minutes already. Yeah, Joe, I got to admit, this is starting to get boring as hell. Well, maybe there is something that we need to find. We must have missed something around here, right? There is no way that this is it. Joe, shut up and stop coping. I think that we all are just going to have to come to terms with the fact that this game's ending is trash. Oh, what was that, Donald? Because it sounds to me like the game is telling you to shut the fuck up. What in the actual fuck is that thing? Oh God, it's even worse than I thought. It's another service worker. Oh boy, do I got a za for you? What the fuck is a za? He obviously means pizza, Barack. Now shut up and let me read what he is saying. Hope you're having a fantastic evening so far. Oh, what a nice guy. I'm getting hungry holding this. Then give me the damn pizza already, you poor idiot. Here you go, friend. I want to personally thank you for ordering our pizza. We appreciate you very much. I do hope that you enjoy. Is there anything else that I can do for you today? No, piss off, bozo. Any sides we forgot about? Any sauces or drink that you would like? Are you absolutely positively sure that I cannot help you with anything else? Well, thank you again and have a nice... LMAO, that was a classic Big D Trump move. I don't get paid enough for this. I have never seen a pizza delivery guy that had to dress up like a slice of pizza before. Oh, whatever, Barack, that does not matter. We have gotten our pizza. You see, guys? I told you that they would make all of the waiting around worth it. What the fuck? There wasn't even any pizza in that box. Did we just get scanned by a dude in a goddamn pizza costume? It looks like we did, Donald. Are you willing to admit that the life of a service worker is hard now? Fine, Barack, I will admit it. This life absolutely fucking sucks. I want to go back to being rich and awesome and amazing already. Wow. Well, it seems like Donald has had a real ghost of Christmas past style change of heart. I wouldn't go that far, Joe. Just because the life is shit doesn't mean that I am going to stop being annoying to them. Me. Ah, oh God, it is a Karen. Oh guys, I do not want to have to play night two. That looks like it is going to be a real hard time. Well, you are in luck then, Joe. It looks like it isn't even out yet. I guess everything we saw is all that this game has to offer. Good. I absolutely hated every second of having to work at that damn supermarket. Since we're all done, I'm going to be hopping off for now, guys. Yeah, I'm going to be heading off for the day as well. Let's all play some more tomorrow. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, President Multiverse, or I will build a fucking wall around your house as well. Thanks. Donald, are you threatening people again? Shut up or I will nuke you as well.